All right, guys, welcome to this video. This video, I'm gonna talk about uh, the Washington's special elk permit system. Truth be told, this video should have been filmed and uploaded about a month ago. Um, my apologies for everybody who's been waiting. First off, I've just been super busy. So first things first, if you want to apply for Washington's special elk permits for this year, which is 2019, the deadline for you to submit your applications is May 22nd. So today is May 13th. So if you guys are watching this pretty much around the time of this video goes up and you guys have not submitted your special elk applications yet, you have a little over a week to do it. And if you've been waiting for me to do this to submit your applications, once again, my apologies. But without further ado, if you guys watch my special deer permit video, the format is kind of the same, but I'm not going to necessarily cover the same things I already covered in that video. I'm actually going to talk about some new things that I I I forgot to mention in my special deer permit video. Uh, we're just going to start out with all the elk tags that Washington offers this year. And then uh, I'm just going to talk about which ones I'm actually going to cover for the video. So, so to start out, there are seven special permits uh, for elk that Washington offers. However, only three of those are the ones that I'm going to be covering in this video because those three tags out of the seven are the tags where anyone is allowed to draw. The other four only like certain groups of people can draw for them. So once again, I want to keep this video universal. So we're just going to cover the three tags that anybody can draw, including yourself and myself, resident or non-resident alike. And so I'm just going to name off everything they have. So they have quality elk hunts, bull elk hunts, antlerless elk hunts, youth elk hunts, uh, elk hunters 65 and over, elk hunters with disabilities, and master hunter elk hunts. Out of those seven, we're only going to cover the quality elk hunts, bull elk hunts, and antlerless elk hunts. So what I'm going to speak to you guys is a very general rule of thumb. It may not be true for every single unit, but for the most part, it is it is true. So the quality elk hunts are essentially the best elk hunts you're going to be able to get in Washington state. As a general rule of thumb, you're getting to hunt elk in the best units that Washington has to offer. And you're typically getting to hunt during the best time of the year, which is usually the rut. So there are some rifle hunts where you actually get to hunt in September when bulls are screaming their heads off. That's essentially a quality elk hunts. The next one is bull elk hunts and bull elk hunts, they kind of overlap with quality elk, but I'm just gonna say that they're just not quite as good as quality elk hunts. So bull elk hunts are typically offered in units where the general season only allows you to shoot spikes. So that bull elk hunts allows you to shoot branch bulls instead of just uh, hunting spikes like the general public. The thing with the difference between bull elk hunts and quality elk hunts is with bull elk hunts you typically don't get to hunt the the peak of the rut. You typically get hunt like in October, November when it's considered post rut. Again, some quality elk hunts do occur in post rut depending on if you're hunting with a rifle, muzzleloader, or a bow. There's too many differences between certain units to just generalize them into one category. So so just go in and look specifically at the unit you are planning to hunt because it might not align with what I'm telling you guys here because I'm speaking from a general rule of thumb because there's just too many differences and too many units to just go over and for the sake of this video. And so the next one is uh, antlerless elk hunts. Antlerless elk hunts simply allows you to shoot a cow elk. So a lot of units where they only allow you to shoot bulls or spike bulls in some units, if you have an antlerless elk hunt permit, just allows you to shoot a cow elk. So that's the general idea of what each of these tags mean and essentially what you're getting out of it. And so I just want to tell you guys that everything I'm telling you guys here, I'm literally re regurgitating the information provided from the hunting pamphlet. So if you have questions, go and read the hunting regulation pamphlet because everything I'm, I'm telling you guys here is straight out of the 2019 hunting book. So the next thing I want to talk about is I want to just talk about Washington's point system. If you're brand new to this system, if you buy and you apply for a special elk permit, so let's say you apply for a quality elk hunt with no points you've never drawn before. If you apply, you have one point. And what that point is, it essentially determines how many times your name gets put into the, into the random drawing. So if you have one point, you have one name in there and so on and so on. So if you apply for quality elk hunt on your first year, you're going to have one point. If you get drawn with that one point, you win your quality elk hunt. But if you come back and apply the year following, then your points reset. So the next year you would go back to one. However, if you don't get drawn in your first year and then you apply the next year, next year you're applying with two points. All it does is it just means that you have more names in the hat and then your likelihood of getting drawn for that tag just goes up. 
if you don't if you still don't get drawn after your second year the following year you apply again now you would have three points essentially it just keeps going up but as soon as you get drawn what whichever year you get drawn your points reset and you'll start back at zero and then you have to work your way up again so that's kind of how washington's bonus system works i forgot to mention that in my dear special permit video all right so the next portion of this video is I want to I want to go through the hunting pamphlet and tell you guys just how to read the chart so here we're going to look at this green chart if you look at the very top there's boxes shaded with darker green and those are pretty much the categories so I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to read it to you guys and so the first one is you have your hunt choice hunt name hunt notes tag required to apply hunt dates legal elk unit slash area permits and 2018 applications slash average points. And so the question is, what do these each mean? So the hunt choice is a number that you're going to submit in your applications so that fishing game know which hunt you are trying to apply. So if you're applying for the Turnbull quality elk hunt, you would submit hunt choice number 2000, 2000. That's your hunt choice. Hunt name is simply just the name of the hunt. So the next one is hunt notes. Hunt notes is a very crucial one. If you guys look in the boxes, there are some boxes where they have multiple letters, some boxes where they have two, and then some boxes where they have one, and there are some boxes where there are none at all. And so if that hunt has a letter, there's a separate page in the hunting pamphlet that tells you guys what each of those letter means. So if we look at our example, Turnbull, it has the letters D, H, and L. And so we're going to go to the hunting pamphlet and we're going to look at what letter D means, what letter H means, and what letter L means. And so these are usually just some heads up for you before you apply for that tag. For instance, that hunt you're applying for might have a lot of private properties, so they might give a letter. It might just be a heads up like, hey, if you're going to apply for this hunt, just be aware that there's a lot of private property and it might be a good idea for you to um, get permission before you apply for the tag. And so that's just an example. Uh, some of them are additional regulations, so keep in mind. If the hunt you are looking at is blank for the hunt notes section, uh, that essentially means that you're just going to follow the statewide regulations. So just keep in mind that these hunt notes are just additional regulations on top of the statewide regulations. And so the next one is tag required to apply. And so every single unit has a tag required to apply. If you guys look in the boxes, there's like EA, EF, EM. Essentially, there's going to be WM, WF, and WA. And so each of these have a meaning. So EA stands for Eastern Archery Tag. EM stands for Eastern Muzzleloader. EF stands for Eastern Modern Firearm. WM stands for Western Muzzleloader. WF stands for Western Modern Firearm. And WA stands for Western Archery. So if you look at the tag required to apply, let's take our example Turnbull for example. It says EA, EF, and EM. What that means is in order for you to be eligible to apply for the Turnbull quality elk hunt, your general elk tag has to either be an Eastern Modern Firearm elk tag, an Eastern Archery elk tag, or Eastern Muzzleloader elk tag. So to apply for the quality elk hunt for Turnbull, you have three choices of what your general tag can be. If we look at the example below, we look at the Prescott quality elk hunt, it only has one. It only has EF. That means your general elk tag must be an Eastern Modern Firearm elk tag to apply for that hunt. So on the other hand, let's say you bought an Eastern Archery elk tag. That means any unit that says EF or EM, you cannot apply for that quality elk hunt with your Eastern Archery elk tag. If you really want to hunt one specific unit and it has only one tag required to apply, be sure to get the right general tag. Same thing goes for the west side. If it says WM, WF, WA, make sure that your general elk tag matches that unit. Washington does offer this tag called the multi, multi season permit. And this multi season permit is actually already past due. I didn't draw for it. I usually don't draw for it. But this multi season permit, if you draw and you do get drawn, uh, essentially you get to hunt all three seasons you get to hunt mu a muzzleloader season archery season and uh firearm season cool thing is instead of being limited to the east east side or the west side of the state to hunt elk if you have that multi-season permit you can hunt both sides of the state in the same season and once again you, you can hunt essentially any season any general season and so if you have the multi-season permit i believe that you can apply essentially for any elk hunt you want just a little heads up for the multi-season permit maybe a heads up for next year if you guys are uh, interested in drawing for it uh, the next one is hunt dates hunt dates is simply when that special elk hunt is uh, effective so if you guys look at turnbull uh, that hunt 
is effective in September 29th through October 6th. And it, there's another season for that hunt that goes on from November 16th to uh, December 5th. Uh, the next one is Legal Elk. Legal Elk simply just tells you what that hunt allows you to shoot. Uh, the next one is Unit Slash Area. Unit Slash Area tells you guys where that, where that special elk hunt is effective. For the most part, these special elk hunts only occur in one, one specific unit. So if you guys look at Turnbull, uh, the only place where that special elk hunt is allowed is in elk area 1015. If you guys look at Prescott, the one below, that elk hunt is only valid in GMU 149. But there are some units where uh, your quality elk hunt is valid in more than just one unit, such as hunt choice number 2006. Hunt named 1010, that hunt is effective in unit 1010 and GMU 163. And then if we go down to hunt choice number 2018, that hunt is actually valid in GMU 328, 329, and 334. So the purpose of that is just to tell you guys that these units are different and make sure that you, you look closely at which one you're planning to apply for. All right, the next one is permits. Permits is simply the number of tags that Washington gives out for one specific uh, elk hunt. So if we go back to our example, Turnbull, permits is one. That means out of the whole state and the whole season, one person is going to get drawn for that one permit they offer. If you go down to Prescott, the permits, it says two. So that means that there's Washington gives out two quality elk hunts for the Prescott unit or for the Prescott hunt. That means that there's going to be two people who are going to be able to hunt for the Prescott quality elk hunt. If you go down to a uh, watershed, you guys will see permits is 40. That means there's gonna be 40 permits for that quality elk hunt, and there's gonna be 40 people who are gonna get drawn for that hunt in the 2019 season. So the number of permits uh, vary depending on the unit. If you're wondering about your odds of getting drawn for a specific hunt, uh, the number of permits is a crucial one for you to look at. So the last one is 2018 applications slash average points. So in this so in this box, there's actually two numbers. There's the first number, and that's the number of applications. The second point is out of those applications last year, on average, how many points does it did it take to draw a tag for that hunt? So if we look at Turnbull in the 2018 season, there were 440 people who applied for that quality elk hunt. Out of 440 people, it took eight points on average to draw the Turnbull quality elk hunt. And we'll look at another example. If we go down to Prescott, the one right below, it says 62 slash 13. So in 2018, there were 62 people who applied for the Prescott quality elk hunt. And out of those 62 people, it took on average 13 points to draw a quality elk hunt for the Prescott unit. That's essentially how Washington has organized this section of the pamphlet. And now that you guys have a understanding of how to read this, you guys can now go through and look at every single individual unit that you're interested in. Just walk through it how I just walked you guys through it and you should understand it very well. So for quality elk hunts, you can only submit uh, two choices per season. So if you submit for Turnbull and uh, Prescott, that means you're done for the season. Those are your two choices. But for the bull elk hunts and the, the antlerless elk hunts, you have up to four choices that you can apply, uh, apply for. So that means you can apply for four units. So if you don't get drawn for your first unit, you don't get drawn for your second unit, you don't get drawn for your third choice, you might get drawn for your fourth choice. So with the bull elk and the antlerless elk hunts, you have essentially four, four chances to get drawn, while with the quality elk hunts, you only have two choices or two chances to get drawn. That's another major difference between the three elk tags. Once you understand that, I, I think you're pretty much set to go. Uh, you just got to understand uh, the different types of quality elk hunts that they, they offer. And then you got to understand uh, what general tag you have. Once again, W, M, W, F, W, A, E, M, E, F, and E, A. All right, so the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how do you apply? So I apply over online because I think it's just the most simple way to do it. So the website for you to do that is if you go to uh, Fish Hunt one word, dot dfw dot wa dot gov. That's the website where you're gonna be able to purchase your tags online, purchase your special applications online, submit your hunter report, and also uh, apply for your special elk hunts. That's where you're gonna do everything. So if you haven't already, just create an account and they're gonna link your stuff together. If you already have one, then just once again, you probably already know how it works. I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully this video wasn't uploaded too late for you guys. But if you guys still do have questions, just leave a comment or your question down in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer as fast as I can. But for the most part, this is the general understanding of it. And uh, 
yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.